Nage Ho. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is the title of my presentation. Let me introduce myself. I'm Koichi, Koichi Sakata. Uh, I'm talking to you from Japan. I show my handle name at the bottom left of this slide. Follow me if you are inter interested. I'm a Java champion. Last year, I submitted some patches to OpenJDK. So I'm an OpenJDK author now. I work at NTT Data. Uh, this chart shows issues fixed in JDK 17 per organization. Our company, uh, including me, has contributed to OpenJDK since before. Today, I will be talking about contributing to OpenJDK. How many of you want to contribute to OpenJDK? Yes, I can see. All people in this room want to do so. As you can see, there are many ways of contributing. When you hear of the contribution to open source software, uh, the first thing that you think of is writing code. But there are other ways to contribute. It's good to combine some ways. In this presentation, I will focus on the way of submitting patches because this is the uh, uh, thing that most people are interested in, I think. After this presentation, you will be able to submit patches to OpenJDK. Duke needs you for JDK development. Uh, let's try to think about fixing bugs. The contribution process is all, all, almost the same as development of popular open source software such as Spring Framework, Jakarta E, etc. There are some steps to fix a bug. First, find a bug, then fix a bug, submit a patch, receive reviews, address comments. Finally, the patch is merged. I'll explain each step from now. The first step is to find a bug. As you know, OpenJDK works well in our applications, almost always. Have you ever come across a new JDK bug? Why uh, we try to find bugs, but failing to do so? What should we do? Where are points to be fixed? I tried some different ways. As a result, I found points to be fixed before. I'll introduce them to you. It's effective to build OpenJDK with new versions of tools. As you may know, uh, OpenJDK has not only Java code, but also C++ code. Especially JVM is written in C++. So we need tools for C++ to build it. For example, we use GCC on Linux, Kulan on Mac OS, Visual Studio on Windows. You can build it on WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux. Errors or warnings might occur during the build. If those occur, it means you have found the point to be fixed. I've actually tried it before. I saw some warnings with GCC 10 immediately after it released. Uh, those warnings didn't happen with GCC 9. What you can see at the bottom is one of the warnings. The details, details of the warning is out of this presentation. When you build with the new versions of tools, you might be able to see some errors or warnings as well. On the GCC website, I found those sentences in this slide. The warnings, the warning was enhanced in GCC 10. I examined the warning further and tried to change the code to fix the warning. This is how I write a patch for warnings. I'll introduce another way to find points to be fixed. OpenJDK has a bug tracking system. We simply call it JBS. 
It's a bike tracking system. JBS is based on Atlassian Jira. So you can operate JBS in the same way as Jira. Look at this screenshot. Each issue has detailed information. JBS is accessible for everyone with read only. You can search issues on JBS. In this screenshot, I used, used the query language to search issues that have starter label. Those are for beginners, so good to address. I've fixed some issues that had the label before. Issues that have clean up label are also good for beginners. Okay, we can find the point now. Let's move on to the next step. Second step is fixing a bug. Assume that we've finished fixing code. Of course, we should run tests before sending a patch. JT reg is the regression test harness. I'll show you a demo. This is a movie of running a JT reg test. I increased the playback speed. This code is a test class for the shear HSDB two in the JHSDB. And I executed the make run test command. It's running the test. Just a moment. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, passed. What you can see here is the result of running a JT reg test. JT reg test is for Java code. There is also G test test code for the C++ part. G test is a Google C++ testing framework. Here is the result of running a G-test test. So far, we become, uh, we become able to run tests. Go on to the next step. How do we submit our patch? Is it OK to create pull requests to OpenJDK repository in GitHub? Instead of creating pull requests, it's better to send a mail to the suitable mailing list. In the mail, you, will, you write the details of the issue you found and paste. And you found, uh, no, no, you paste the patch if you have written it already. When the issue is recognized, it is filed in JBS. After that, you can create the pull request to the repository. Mailing lists are important for the OpenJDK development. I'm going to talk for a minute about them. Don't be surprised. OpenJDK has many mailing lists. I took account of them. There are 200 mailing lists. I'll introduce a few of them. Hotspot dev, compiler dev. Each mailing list covers of the topic as described in this slide. It's good to subscribe those mailing lists to gather information. All mails are archived. We can read past communications on the website. This is my first mail to the mailing list. As you can see, it's about DCC warnings I explained before. Uh, yes, I understand how you feel now. Do we need to? Uh, send call to the public mailing list, everyone will feel uneasy to do. I used to be the same. But don't be afraid. People in the OpenJDK community are friendly and polite, even if English is your second language like me, so you can send the mail too. When the issue is recognized, OpenJDK developers filed it in JBS. After that, you can create a pull request in GitHub. OpenJDK has a repository in GitHub. It's used to use Mercurial. There is a relationship between JBS and GitHub. All issues need to be filed in JBS. 
we have to write the issue number in the title of the pull request. Additionally, comments through the pull request are sent to related mailing lists of OpenJDK and vice versa. Before creating a pull request, we have to sign OCA. That is Oracle Contribution Agreement. For more information, see this link. Next, we create a pull request as usual. This screenshot is my pull request. We are submitting the patch. Next step is receive, receiving reviews. Of course, the pull request needs to be reviewed. The only people who has a review role can review and approve the code. Review is one of the roles in OpenJDK community. I'll give you a short explanation of roles in OpenJDK. Everyone is a contributor at first. They don't have any privileges. After some contribution, you will be an author. I have this role. I'll touch on what sponsoring means later. At present, there are over 300 committers and reviewers. When you make many significant changes, you will become a committer or a reviewer. Let's get back to the pull request. In this example, my pull requests were reviewed by four reviewers. This is the last step, get merged. But we can't merge our pull requests by ourselves. After the review, reviewer or committer can sponsor the pull request. The sponsor will merge it. If you don't have any role, your name will be recorded as a contributor. In this screenshot, the sponsor run sponsor pull request command to merge this pull request. We did it. I've explained all steps to fix a bug. Let me summarize. Today, I talked about contributing to OpenJDK. There are many steps, but don't be afraid. You can do it. Let's move OpenJDK forward together. I guess that's all I wanted to say today. Thank you for your attention. Enjoy JCConf conference. Thank you very much.